Good morning from the sloth and I. Today's a travel day. I'm headed to Las Vegas for four days. And my original plan, I told myself, if I go to Vegas, I'm just gonna go straight to California and stay until Thanksgiving. And then push came to shove and I'm just like, you know what, I don't wanna do that. And now that I've had to get up really early and I'm gonna have to get up even earlier for when I go back to California from Puerto Rico on the 20th, I should have just plan this out. So now I'm thinking, can I pack everything I need and then just go straight to California after this trip? Oh, decisions, decisions. But I already told my friends I was going to come back here. So I don't know. I woke up feeling nauseous. That's a typical thing for me when I wake up when I need more sleep. It actually makes me reflect back on the days when I used to get up really early when I had my food truck business and I would always feel nauseous in the morning. So just finishing up packing here, uh, gonna get dressed here shortly. And the good news is that I only am like four to five minutes away from the airport. So hopefully an Uber doesn't take too long. I always forget something. I'm excited for Vegas. So when it came to me changing my packing scenario to potentially go straight to California after my Vegas trip, what did I pack extra? My passport and a microphone. I was thinking like, oh my God, there's all these things I need. And the truth is that yes, I am camera gear poor if I go to California. I don't have much camera gear with me, but that's okay. This phone is all I need. So my nauseousness continued as I was walking throughout the airport. Um, but as I've sat down for here for a few minutes, I'm starting to feel better. I absolutely get uh, feel nauseous frequently when I uh, wake up early with an alarm and there's just a handful of times that I actually wake up with an alarm. But what's really getting on my nerves right now is the fact that step bet is completely sketchy right now. So yesterday I took 18,000 steps, step bet only registered 14,000. Today I've taken 3,400 steps and so far it's only registered like 13 or 1,400. So it's like, I don't have time this week for this like if, if I was at home or whatever, I could do the extra steps. It wouldn't be a big deal, but that's not the case this week. I don't know what exactly my plans are gonna be. So I need to, every step that I take needs to count. It must count. You know, at one point this morning, I actually felt like I was burping up food from yesterday. So like not everything digested well yesterday. I ate too much, especially like in the later portion of the day. And um, I think what I learned yesterday is that I just need to space out my meals, even if I'm not hungry. And um, I think that all the coffee that I drink in the morning completely kills my appetite. So it's something I need to be more aware of for sure. And, um, but on a day like today, it's like I ate so much yesterday and like the whole flying situation. Um, I might get something in Fort Lauderdale. Does Fort Lauderdale have Chick-fil-A? Probably not. I don't think so. No, it was Jacksonville. There was a smaller airport that I went to in Florida. I don't know. I'm sure I've been to Fort Lauderdale before. I just don't remember. But Miami, I think, recently got one. All right, I landed in Vegas, and before I got off the plane, I told myself multiple times, don't gamble in the airport. Don't gamble in the airport. Don't gamble in the airport. And I did not gamble in the airport. And the reason why is because I always lose. I am waiting for my Uber up here, which is crazy. You guys, it's eerily quiet here in Vegas. The airport wasn't super quiet, but up here, like I've been up here to where it's just straight madness. And there's like, hardly any uber pickups this is weird so all my flights were on time today that part was perfect after my first flight <laughs> this is a funny story i got off in fort lauderdale and uh, my gate changed from f to g and i was already in the g terminal so i look to my right and i see try to get to gate eight i look to my right 
and I see gates one through seven. And so I'm like, it must be to the left. And then I heard a lady ask, where's G8? And he says that way. And I'm just like, that's just where I came from. I realized that the gate that I exited was the same gate I was boarding on again, which is the second time that has happened to me during traveling um, during the pandemic. So that was pretty funny. When I was in Fort Lauderdale, I went to this delicious Cuban place. I got two empanadas. I got a chicken one and a beef one. The beef was probably the best I've ever had. I also packed snacks for this trip, which I haven't packed snacks for a trip in ages. Uh, so I packed a dates and nuts and I had the majority of them during my flight. I actually slept probably a total between the two, like three to four hours, which was pretty solid. All right, just arrived at the Cosmo. I need Chick-fil-A and I need a nap. All right, just arrived to my room. The good news is the pool is open. I'm ready to go swimming actually right now. So, this is probably the nicest room I've gotten out of all like eight or nine times I've been to Vegas. I definitely approve. This is where the fancy snacks are and the mini bar. Mm. Waters it cost $62. Is this locked? Automatic system. Weird that that's locked. I drink too much. I might come home and go after these. Oh no, is this one of those things that once you pull it out, you can't put it back? Lighting here is pretty good. So I think I was originally thinking Chick-fil-A, but now I'm thinking In-N-Out Burger just because I feel like I need red meat. So I was listening to a podcast today on my flight. My lips are so chapped. I'm gonna need chapstick real quick. I was listening to a podcast today and the person talked about asking them, like, they, I'm boring this terribly. Basically, the person said that they, like, asked their body, like, what do you want? So I think that's a good idea. Let me try it right now. Body, what do you want to eat? In and out. Just like that. Just ask your body and it shall tell you. I mean, I was already thinking that prior, but I asked again. It said in and out. Oh, I have a view of Allegiant Stadium. More than Las Vegas Raiders play. So weird to say that, being a Californian. All right, I'm headed to in and out It's 1.2 miles to get there. And so I feel like I'm gonna be earning my food even though I'm probably gonna get like a protein burger or just the meat itself with some cheese and onions. But I'm really excited because Sometimes I just want fast food and in Puerto Rico, I just don't do it. It's never good. And it's always hard to communicate exactly what I want in the drive-thru because usually those people um, don't speak English. So it's just really hard to communicate exactly what I want. Cause I'm one of those people, no sour cream, no tomatoes on my chalupas, plus uh, Taco Bell sucks there. There's no in and out, very few limited. There's just limited options when it comes to fast food in Puerto Rico. So like first things first, when I come to the States, I just have to go to my favorite fast food places. I just gotta do it. So approximately 1.2 miles there, one point, oh wait, <laughs> I think I found something. I wonder if that's the one I'll be walking to. Doesn't really seem like there's that many good walking paths to get there, but we'll see. So I'm walking and the guy's like, where are you going? Where are you going? There's nothing on this side of the building. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going for a walk over there. Gotta get my steps in, dude. Just leave me alone. So when I first came over here, <laughs> the sun was in my eyes and I thought that was a real horse. I'm like, why is a guy on the side of the highway with his horse? And then I realized it's just a metal horse. And then I'm also not in Puerto Rico because that would be very normal for a Puerto Rico situation. Ooh, I'm getting close. So I walked this in and out. It was pretty good. 
I got a flying Dutchman, but they put way too much cheese on it. You're only supposed to put cheese in the middle. They put it on top, and then I got a burger patty. The walk here was sketch. As I was like crossing over, I was at a stop. I was at the corner and I was surrounded by like three people that were just homeless. And I'm typically not scared of homeless people, but the side of town that I'm on, I'm at, is sketchy. And I always do this. I always end up in the sketchy areas because I like to go for walks and weird areas and do weird things. So here I am. All right, so here's the end of the day update. I finished the day, it was a big, big eating day. So I'm getting within that week period of time before my cycle. I finished it 4,100 calories. Um, so definitely, yeah, getting close to starting my cycle here. And uh, so I finished the day with pizza from Pyology. And I want to know what you guys think of my order. How would you know? I want you to, to basically vote. Am I weird or am I creative? So here are my toppings. Herb butter, red sauce, mozzarella, garlic, green peppers, pineapple, that'll be the controversy one, red onion, bacon, chicken, after bake barbecue sauce. So this day I just stayed in, watched the election. My plan was to get Chick-fil-A. My friends were like, no, 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 let's just go get pizza. And so I agreed. I always recommend just go with your, your gut, your, your first choice of food. Every time I surrender and I let someone else choose my food choices, I always regret it. So just do what you wanna do. Also took 13,000 steps on this day. So overall, good first day in Vegas. Um, fell asleep pretty darn early. I was just super tired from the, the, um, the time change. Being four hours behind, big, big difference. So that's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a life that you love.